Okay, I gotta think. I think that bit's gotta end. I don't know. I just. It's not as easy as it once was. I'm not as young and spry as I was when this channel began. Welcome to the new video. I thought I had a tiki bird under there with me. There's nothing underneath the desk. Okay, I think I got a little better set up here this time. We got a Spider-Man. Okay, no tiki bird. We got a Khonshu. We got a Haunted Mansion. And of course, we'll keep this piranha here because he told me not to move it. And I got a new shirt. What do you think about this? It's from Foolish Moral Supply. It says, live with the land or we're all going to die. Don't you just love it? Today's video is going to be fun. I thought Disney said they were going to release news all week leading up to Destination D23 on Saturday. And it is now, as I speak, 1 p.m. where I am, which means it's 3 p.m. in Florida, which means I don't think they're going to be releasing any news today. So I have to have a video out tomorrow, which means we're going to talk about my predictions for this weekend, specifically the very big, grand, important show that's going to be happening on Saturday. That's going to be live streamed here. Here, by the way, in case you didn't know, I'm live streaming it here. Tune in on Saturday if you want to hear me just rant about whatever they announce. It's going to be great. It's going to be a lot of fun. And the reason I'm wearing my Living with the Land shirt today is because uh, one of my predictions has to do with Epcot. Okay, this is like I'm starting with my pie in the sky dream prediction, right? You got to start at the top. That way you can work your way down to the realistic and boring ones. No, no, before you start freaking out, before we all start panicking, I don't think anything is going to happen to Living with the Land. We can all breathe a sigh of relief. Living with the Land is safe for another year until D23 Expo rolls around and we can start nervously pacing our floors, hoping that they don't retheme it or remove it in any way, shape, or form. Disney, you hear me? You hear, do you hear me? We're all gonna die. My shirt says so. No, but my prediction remains in the front of the park. Moana, the Journey of Water is getting good reviews from critics and fans alike. And, uh, you know, Figment's there. He's chilling. I don't think they're going to touch Journey into Imagination at all. So if you were worried they're going to remove Figment or change Figment for the better, nothing is gonna happen. I think he's going to remain exactly the way he is today. But... With World Celebration Construction wrapping up at the end of this year, I think that at Destination D23, we are going to get an announcement for what is going to be replacing the Wonders of Life Pavilion. Formerly, I guess, kind of, in some way, only in our brains, the Play Pavilion. I think it's fairly safe to say that Disney has scrapped that idea. For the better, I would say. The Play Pavilion was not a really good idea. I think we are going to get some sort of announcement as to what is going to be occupying that space next to Cosmic Rewind this year. This weekend, even. Now, as to what's replacing the Wonders of Life Pavilion, sorry, I was just doing some, some data numbers on my computer. I don't really know. I can't, I mean, I could guess. It's gotta be IP related, right? You're going to have IP. And New Toontown at Disneyland was received really, really well. And the Play Pavilion did sort of feature classic Disney characters, you know, your Mickeys, your princesses, your Wreck-It Ralphs, I guess not really classic, but Disney characters. I think something along the lines of Toontown is coming to the spot where Wonders of Life used to be. Something appropriate and somewhere for young kids to decompress and have fun without having to ride these thrill rides, without having to wander the world showcase and watch their parents drink. It's something more family friendly for the young ones. Honestly, I just hope it's something a little bit higher quality than the Emoji Pavilion we were going to get. I don't, pl the Play Pavilion was a bad idea, and I'm glad it's canceled. Unless they announce this weekend that they're moving forward with it, and it's actually opening tomorrow. Good. And that actually about wraps up what I think is going to be announced for Epcot. I think once the Play Pavilion is replaced and done, I think all of Epcot is going to just be sort of sitting there for a while, which is good. New Epcot... I think looks pretty good. The The middle of World Celebration could use some improvement. I really am sad we're not getting that giant festival pavilion, but it, it looks all right. Now, as for the Magic Kingdom, we're gonna move over to the Magic Kingdom now. Before you get your hopes up too high, we're not gonna hear anything about what's beyond Big Thunder Mountain. Have you ever wondered, my friends, what's beyond Big Thunder Mountain Railroad? The infamous What's Beyond Big Thunder Mountain Blue Sky pitch idea that they shared with us last year at D23 Expo will not be receiving any sort of mention or update at all. Don't worry about it. But something will be receiving an update, a re-theme. To tie in with the brand new e-ticket attraction, Tiana's Bayou Adventure, I think that corner of Frontierland, Pecos Bill, not the Country Bears, don't worry, they're, they're safe, is going to be turned into a sort of Tiana's Palace, New Orleans Square, French Quarter, mini land. Recently, some Imagineers have been seen walking through Pecos Bill, Tall Tale Inn, and Cafe. And with its location right next to Bayou Adventure, it is prime real
real estate for a new restaurant, especially when the theme of the new ride and Princess and the Frog is sort of based around food. Tiana's foods, beignets, all the delicious New Orleans fare that you can imagine coming to the Magic Kingdom. I would be absolutely okay with this and re-theming it to be a sort of Cafe Orleans slash Tiana's Palace restaurant is just genius in my head. The problem in my head would be making the architecture of this new Tiana themed restaurant match the rest of Frontierland and Adventureland behind it. And then the cohesive story of the land would kind of take a hit because why would there be a salt dome next to a restaurant next to a desert mountain? It doesn't make a ton of sense. And then even if they do go forward with that Beyond Big Thunder Mountain expansion, why is there a villains themed mountain beyond the desert mountain? I just, it just, it doesn't make a whole lot of thematic sense, but I am willing to wait and see what Disney does with this. And that's it for Magic Kingdom. What, well, were you expecting more? No, we're just gonna get a restaurant retheme. I mean, I don't think anything else is going to be announced for the Magic Kingdom. No pre Hall of Presidents retheme, nothing going on. Maybe some Hatbox Ghost news going into the mansion, but other than that, nothing too much. Um, but Animal Kingdom, I believe is going to be the big one this year. I believe Animal Kingdom is going to be the big announcement and specifically back by Dino Land. I think, yes, my friends, I talked about it yesterday that, that Moana and maybe Zootopia are coming to Animal Kingdom. Moana would be great. Anything replacing Chester and Hester's I think is an upgrade. Chester and Hester's Dino Rama is not good and Zootopia, you all know where I stand. The concept art for the Moana retheme is noticeably way more detailed and intricate and almost planned out than other concept art that we received at D23 last year. It looks way farther into production. You can see Triceratops Spin right there, rethemed, and even another Flume ride, which I am very, very happy about. Maybe that, maybe that'll happen. We'll see. And then of course, back where Dinosaur is now, you have Zootopia. And that's why everybody yesterday was sort of talking about how all of this Zootopia news may be sort of a little bit of buildup for Saturday. We shall see come Saturday, but I do think this will be the big show-stopping announcement. The world of Moana coming to Disney's Animal Kingdom in three to five years. And that's it for Walt Disney World. What, did you, you think every park was gonna get an update? Hollywood Studios isn't gonna get anything. I'm telling you right now, that animation courtyard area is gonna stay barren for the rest of time immemorial. Sorry, no Avengers Campus here on the, on the East Coast. Instead, you get to a draw and meet Darth Vader, which is cool. And then when it comes to Disneyland, I'm not sure anything huge is going to be announced for Disneyland either. The Avengers e-ticket is really the only thing that I could see being announced, not realistically, but that's the only thing they sort of have to announce. Does that make sense? You kind of get what I mean? Don't even, don't, don't, don't even talk about it. Don't even think about it, okay? We're just gonna move on. We're not gonna, no, no okay? I'm not, I'm not doing this again. We might get some announcements of things like shows or new food items, but you know, Destination D23 is a lot smaller than D23 Expo, so we should not expect as many announcements. And with that being said, I'm pretty sure that's the end of my predictions list. Not a ton this year, just enough. I think Destination D23 doesn't need to overpromise the way that uh, D23 Expo did last year. I think they just need to set expectations accordingly and deliver on those expectations. Don't build it up to be something that it's not going to be Disney. Do you hear me? Just play it safe this year. Do something that you know is gonna be a home run, do a couple of smaller things to supplement that and then call it a year until D23 Expo next year, when if you want to, you can shoot for the moon and maybe land among the stars, possibly land, you know, face first in the dirt, but you never know what's gonna happen. It could be a success. And that's part three of the Destination D23 week lead up. What are your predictions for what could potentially be announced at the conference on Saturday? I want to hear your realistic expectations and then the ones that you would just dream expectations, the, the dream announcements that you want to hear announced. Obviously, reopen People Mover, brand new journey into imagination. You could call me a happy camper after that. I would die happy. It's not realistic though. You gotta stay realistic. So we're gonna get some new food items and then uh, maybe a new parade and that's gonna be it for Destination D23. Everybody, thank you all so much for watching. I will see you here tomorrow, potentially, maybe not. We'll see, you know, if Disney announces more news, I'll see you here tomorrow. And I'll definitely see you on Saturday, right here for the live stream. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.